What are you doing here? Help me? What do you mean? No, I need it to get this bracelet off. Remember what Zero Jr. told us? The bracelet comes off when your heart stops. So I just have to... No! Let me go! I have to do this! I can't take it anymore! This whole thing is like a nightmare I can't wake up from! The only way I'm going to get out of here is to die! <laughs> Please pay attention, everyone. You need to hear this. The Atom has finished scanning Alice. Everything's coming up Sigma, huh? What a lucky, lucky man you are. You two are gonna be playing against Clover. If she doesn't vote, then she'll default to Ally. That means if she stays here, the two of you are gonna be sitting pretty. Especially you, Sigma. After all, you've got six BP right now. If you do, you'll get what you need to escape. Is that so? Um, well, actually I was planning to let you make the decision. See? Told you. You can lie to us if you want, but you can't lie to yourself. Um, if I might make a suggestion, what if Sigma and Luna both remain- Should all three- Why not? Huh? What's it? There what? Nothing. That means either Dio or Tenmyoji is going to have to vote then, and they're playing against Alice. Oh. I guess playing against is a little generous. Ah, knock it off. You trying to get back at me for what I said earlier? No way am I gonna choose Betray. You do know. What do you think? Hey! What? Cool it, boys. Don't worry. I'm gonna be in that room, too. I planned to stay here with Quark, just to make sure he was safe. But it doesn't look like I'm gonna have that luxury. I can't trust Dio to make a decision for all three of us. That means we're gonna be sharing a room, bucko. I've got my eye on you. Happy now, Sigma? Exactly. Oh man, everybody's against me. Whatever shall I do? Can't be too careful. I wouldn't want to see Alice killed by an unfortunate accident. What do you mean, accident? Oh, Tenmyoji, before we went into the CDs, you told Alice there was something you wanted to tell her. Um, what was it? Huh? Oh, that, uh... Well, I mean, look, it wasn't important. Just forget about it. Five minutes. Time's running out, people. 
Clover and I will stay here and keep an eye on Alice and Quark. Everyone else needs to go. What? You're staying too? Yeah. Something does happen. Clover might need a hand. <laughs> Are you saying that you trust me? Yes. Even though I have 6 BP? Yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you nuts? What happens when he gets 9 BP? I'm not worried. Kay won't betray me. How can you know that? I just know, I guess. You just know? I understand. I can hardly betray trust like that, can I? I will vote for our team. Good. We're counting on you. <sighs> I've had enough of this bullshit. Four minutes. Come on, we need to hurry. Hmm. All right, you kids. Take care of those two, okay? Of course. We promise. Remain. What are you going to do? I mean, how are you going to vote? <laughs> of course, I think so too. I'm just glad to hear you say it. Sigma, what's wrong with your hand? There's something white on it. See the results? Sigma, what are you doing? Get the hell over here! They're gonna show the results! Results from- Please-
Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet. This is incredible! Look, everyone voted ally! You did just like you promised, Kay! How could I choose Petray after what Phi said to me? Tenmyoji and Dio voted ally too! Of course. If we hadn't, Alice would have died. Yeah, well, that's about it, I guess. We should thank the both of you as well. I'm happy to see you also chose ally. Oh, I didn't have anything to do with it. That was all Sigma. Then thank you very much, Sigma. Sigma? Sigma, are you alright? Come on, what's wrong? Just say something. Sigma, what the hell's wrong with you? Yeah, you've been acting a little out of it ever since we came out of the AB rooms. What happened? You make it past at Luna and get shot down? Hey man, it was a joke. You remember what that is? A joke? You're in pretty bad shape, huh? The round start there is the ambidex. We can open the gates as many times as we want to, then that means... We can play the AB game as many times as we like, right? Hey, zero... As soon as the gates close, you're coming... <laughs> yeah, right. Sorry to be a pain, but uh, could you all show me your bracelets? I want to see what all your colors and assignments are. So Dio and Kay are a yellow pair. Luna and I are both pairs, but our colors are different. Right. You're a cyan, and I'm magenta. That makes Sigma the only solo, huh? A red solo. So what are the four we left in the infirmary? Luna and I are pairs, so two of them are our partners. That means the other two are solos. Although, I guess we don't know what colors they are. They're probably green and blue. Why's that? Didn't you say I already have to... Ah, yes. On our way back from the garden with the unconscious quark. And there they were. White door. I think the pair you see? Yeah. Right. Good. Now that we've got that figured out, I want to check up on I shall look that is no real what will you I I need to talk to Sigma about something. Something? Hold on. A private talk? What are you guys plotting? We're not plotting anything. I promise. It's nothing. <laughs> Fine, whatever. See if I care. This room, could we go somewhere else? Good. I found somewhere nice when I was looking for Alice earlier. You know this place? Oh, I see. Isn't this nice? This is the only place in the whole facility with anything green. I feel kind of silly saying it, but... It makes me think of the great outdoors. I think it's the perfect place for a serious conversation. Being surrounded by nature makes me feel... happy. Oh, there's a bench over there. Would you like to sit down with me? Can I tell you something? This is actually a music box. 
Yes. Because I... wanted you to know, I guess. I wanted you to know more about me. Maybe it's because I'm so shy, but I don't really have any friends. Or even any acquaintances, really. So I've sort of always been alone. It was really hard. I felt so lonely a lot of the time. And it... it hurt. It felt like I was just kind of going to... collapse from the inside out. That was when I got this music box. Someone very important gave it to me. They didn't say anything, but I felt like there was an unspoken message behind it. Luna, happiness is closer than you think. Do you know Materlink's The Bluebird? Right. It's a well-known story. And it teaches a simple lesson. Right, it got me thinking. Maybe the person who gave me this music box was trying to tell me just that. I don't know if that's true. Maybe all of this is just in my head, but I really felt like that was what they'd meant. It was so... kind. I kept it with me all the time, but... One day I realized something. There was another meaning to the bluebird. In Materlink's original story, it doesn't end with them waking up. Yes, when Tiltil and Mittel try to feed the bird, it leaves the cage and flies away. And then the story ends. It changes. Now the message is that just when you think you found happiness, you'll lose it again. I thought about that for a while. But in the end, it didn't change how I felt. I don't know what they intended it to mean when they gave it to me, but I decided how I was going to look at it. It means that happiness is something you should always be looking for, and it's only when you're pursuing happiness that you're truly happy. You know, Sigma, I think you might be Tiltil. You know, the boy who the old lady asked to find the bluebird on Christmas Eve. Can I ask you something? Where did you find Alice? Just answer me. Where did you find Alice? Where were you before that? So you went from the lounge to the crew quarters, where you found Alice. And then you rushed her to the infirmary, right? Okay, tell me this then. How do you know about the garden? Just now, you said you'd come here when you were looking for Alice, didn't you? That doesn't make any sense. There wouldn't have been any time for you to visit the garden while you were looking for Alice. So tell me, Sigma, how do you know about this place? Sigma, are you... are you a robot? Have you always been here? See, it would make so much sense if you were. That would explain why you knew about the garden and... and it would explain that cut on your left hand. Yes, I've been told that robots these days have what's called artificial biological tissue, or ABT, on top of a metal skeleton. It makes them look almost exactly like a human, and ABT uses this white liquid instead of blood. Scared? Why would I be scared? So, well, even if you were, I wouldn't be scared. Hmm, maybe because 
Yes, you're a robot. Have you ever heard of the Three Laws of Robotics? They were a set of rules created by the science fiction author Isaac Asimov. Just me. Sorry, but can you guys come over here? I need you to see something. Welcome. I just got here a little while ago. Did you... hear what we were saying? No. Were you talking about something you didn't want me to know about? Whatever. Just have a look at this. Antimatter bomb. Exactly. I'm pretty sure so. In fact, look at the number on the side. And the then. I've got more. Just think about them. You're saying you can't. Yeah. Who planted them? Was it you guys? I mean, you've been in here quite a while. Well, uh, I was taking a walk. Fine. You got me. I heard you two were off talking in secret. So I got curious and went back to the Floor A warehouse. Of course you weren't there. That seemed pretty suspicious to me, so I headed here. And just as I'd suspected, there you were, talking on the bench. I snuck up from behind so you wouldn't notice me. Then, just as I was getting close enough to hear, I found the bomb. So, believe me now? Honestly? It could have been any one of us. Anybody could have come here while we were all looking for Alice. We need to tell everyone about this then. This is bad. What are we going to do? Well, I think... There should be an emergency deactivation password. If you enter that, you see it? If we can find the... Then we can... So, if we have the password, we can deactivate them? Oh, whoa, hold on a second. That's great and all, but we need that password input device she was talking about. Without that, we're still boned even if we did have the password. Yeah. That's why I want all of you to let me search you. I beg your pardon? You heard me. Chances are whoever planted those bombs is in this room. There's also a good chance they've also got the device we need to deactivate the bombs. So you're planning to search us for it? Exactly. But... No buts. If you refuse, then I'll assume it's because you've got it. Unless you want that, I suggest you cooperate. Clear? Good. Now who's going to be first? Hmm? Huh? What? How can you... There's no way...
Come on, what is this? Are you high? Well, knock it off, Sigma. You're doing this all backwards. Ugh. Nice try, but that's some bullshit totalitarian logic. I don't think so. What are you even basing this on? How do you know I set the bombs? Just spit it out. The Nirma. What? I beg your pardon? No. How do you know that, Sigma? <laughs> are you talking about? Who the fuck do you think you are? None of that has anything to do with me. I don't know who the Myrmidons are, and I don't know what free the soul is, and I certainly don't know anything about some old fart called brother. Uh. Wait, so he's left? But... But that means he's a terrorist! A terrorist? Oh dear. Left? <laughs> well, looks like I won't be able to talk my way out of this one. Seriously though, when did we get so famous? The Myrmidons aren't supposed to be something anybody knows about, let alone YouTube jokers. Okay, you got me. Yes. I'm the leader of the Myrmidons. My real name is Left. I was sent here to stop Zero Senior's AB plan. That's why I planted the bombs. If it looked like the plan might actually succeed, I was supposed to blow this whole place sky high. What's that? Oh, oh well, looks like you don't know everything after all. I should have been more careful. After all, you're gonna die here. What? Well there! <laughs> Better not come any closer. You think I'm not prepared for this? Take one step and it'll be your last. Then, that thing you're holding... It's the detonator. Yeah, I guess it is. Now back the fuck off! Dio, please calm down! If you press that button, you'll die too! So? Believe me, there's plenty more where this came from. <laughs> now that we've cleared that up... Back! Off! <laughs> come on, move it! Go, go, go! Hey, Grandpa, your hearing gone? I said back off. No. <sighs> you. I'm not screwing around here. I can see that. So why don't you do it? Go ahead. Press that button. Tenmyoji! Something wrong? Hurry it up. I'm not getting any younger. Oh, do I sense hesitation? What's the matter, Dio? Scared. Well? <sighs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> so you were just bluffing. Not bluffing, goddammit! You hear me? I'll do it! Oh, I'm sure you will. But there's really something I should tell you. See that detonator you're holding? It's a fake. What? Yeah! What happened? What? What's happening? There's a red light on it now. <laughs> oh, you really fucked up, Tenmyoji. This is what happens when you try to show off. What? What are you saying? Damn, how much do you know? Fine, whatever. Well, he's right. If that thing ever gets more than a meter away from me, it activates. When it does, it starts the timers on all the bombs. So thanks to this old fart, you get to try and defuse a bunch of activated bombs on a countdown. You can go ahead and destroy the detonator if you want. Once the timers have been activated, they'll go off anyway. How long do we have? When do they explode? You should know, Sigma. Why don't you tell her? Crazy! How do we stop them? None of us know them, though. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll give you one, since I'm such a swell guy. The password for bomb number two is... EQD... DYR... NTK. Bomb number two? But 
we haven't found that one yet. Oh? Oh. Well, my mistake. Must have slipped my mind. Well, there's nothing you could do anyway. You don't have the input device. Really, it'll be much easier if you all just give up. Oh gosh, I wonder. Where did you put the number two bomb? Shoot, you know, I, I just can't remember. Anyway, I think it's time for me to be moving on. Moving on? To where? What, I have to explain everything? To the next world, of course. Shit! Let go of me, goddammit! Get off of me! Let me go! Hey! Hey! I'm not fucking around, alright? Let go of my goddamn arm! We don't have a choice, Luna. Go get the Soparil. <laughs> You think I don't know that? What other choice do we have? Every minute we spend wrestling this prick is a minute we don't have to deal with those bombs. We don't have time for this. <laughs> what are you doing, Luna? Go! Right. Okay, I've got it. I'm ready when you are. <sighs> you can do whatever you want to me, you fucking... You're still gonna die. Go ahead. Tell yourselves you can fix it. Serves you fucking right. You're gonna burn! Oh, for God's sake. Luna, shut him up. Right. Here goes. About 20 minutes or so, I think. And how much time until the white doors open? So, what do we do? We search Dio, but he doesn't have anything that might be the input device. And that is? All right, until those things act Sigma, you come with me. We're going to have to go look at the number three bomb. See if the timer really has started or not. All the rest of you, listen up. I want you to take Alice, Quark, and Dio to the Floor B warehouse. What? Why there? Just listen. Worst case scenario. We'll open the white doors and go through them to... wherever they go. Maybe we'll get lucky. Understood. We will take them to the Floor B warehouse. Once we've done so, we will begin to search for the input device in the number two bomb. Good. Okay, we don't have much time left. Now get moving. Sigma, you're with me. The light's flashing. I guess the countdown has started. So, what are we going to do? Without a way to enter the passwords, we're screwed. Right. We'll just have to split up and look for it. I'll look around here. You go check somewhere else. If we get to T-minus five minutes, then we'll meet back in the Floor B warehouse. Got it? What's with that look? Don't worry. We'll figure it out, I promise. You know what they say. Swimsuits never quit. I'm just, um... After all, if you quit now, there goes any possibility of you ever seeing me in a swimsuit. Alright. They get moving. We don't have...
Yes, the others are taking the people who are asleep to the white doors. I chose to stay here. I thought you might come back. Because the atom is here, I thought you might want to use it. Isn't that why you're here? Oh, why did you come here then? Really? I see. I seem to have made a mistake. I knew you couldn't use the atom without me, so I stayed behind because I thought I might be able to help. I guess I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. Goodbye. minutes or so. Yes. That's it. You can get up now. Well, it says you're not a robot, you're human. But your body isn't entirely human. You're part machine. Look here. The structure of the bones in your arms isn't anything close to human. They're made out of a titanium alloy. On top of that skeleton is artificial biological tissue. Your arms are... cybernetic. Cybernetic? You see all these? Those are art. They're probably connected to your own nerves. I imagine they al No, unfortunately you probably do still have to worry about that. The cybernetic arms are made to function just like real arms, which means that anything injected into them is spread to the rest of your body. I just... do. Yes, but not everything has an answer. There are some things you just can't explain. Don't you know how that feels? How did you know about the garden? How did you know that Dio planted the bombs? I'm sorry, Sigma. I wish we could talk some more, but our time is up. Sigma, there's one last thing. I was given very specific instructions. Please pay attention. This is very important. You must be sure to remember it. Should you encounter a two-headed lion devouring the sun, remember, GTF DM L 016. With this key, the first gate shall be open to you. There you go. I hope we can meet again someday. I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting. <laughs>